All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Saturday Bible Study. So as we go through, <clears throat> looks like they fixed every glitch at the uh, Bible Gateway website. Thank you, Jesus, since this involves the internet. Um, so the word his was added, being kinsman, whose ear Peter cut off, being his kinsman. We have no problem with that word added. The authorized King James Version italicizes words that were added by the writers of the King James. That's very busy. I don't like the way the authorized is laid out. Each verse is not separated like the regular King James is. Each verse is separated. That's why we use it for our studies. But we will go through and make sure that every word added was that we would feel that we would all agree on was added properly. It's uh, what's that word I'm trying to say? Palatable. Palatable. Am I pronouncing it right? Pleasant to the taste. Is it pleasant to our discernment that when we see these words added that we accept it. I only see one. Today we're going to Philadelphia. There were only two letters, <coughs> Smyrna I believe it was in Philadelphia, where they had no warnings like you better repent or else. Where it sounds like it was written to repentant sheep and five letters were written written to those that either were repentant or you better repent. Like some of them, some of the letter will say, well, the rest of you at Thyatira who have not um, soiled your garments. And we, we talked about that yesterday with the, the all white. Looks like which is a two word combination was added will write upon him a four-word combination that was added. Whoops, five-word combination that was added. Yes. I don't think I see any other italicized words in the name of the city of my God, New Jerusalem, we don't have any problem with the word which is added. Adding five words is a lot, which cometh down out of heaven from my God and my new name. And they added, and I will write upon him my new name. That is proper context. So we'll, we will accept that. The mark of the beast it's a mark. It's not what people think that you're going to have a 666 on your hand or your forehead. Just like God will spiritually write his name on the sheep's forehead. Hang on just a quick. So... Mark of the beast, not what you've been told, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. That's the church. God seals his, and so therefore Satan gets to seal his also per, and he calls up all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, Revelation 13, 16. This is a spiritual overtaking of the heart, mind, body, soul, um, you know, it's not just, it's not what you've been told what a mark is. So anyway, <clears throat> by the way, we did all that. We can now move to New Living Translation in case we need it. And let's read it. Let 
Let's count the verses, make sure that there as New Living does leave out verses, as does ESV, NIV, and so forth. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. They're all there. But one of the household slaves of the high priest, a relative of a man whose ear Peter had cut off, asked, didn't I see you out there in the olive grove with Jesus? Again, Peter denied it, and immediately a rooster crowed. Jesus trod before. Now, notice they don't go into detail about, you know, the crowing of the of the rooster, and um, how Jesus had predicted that. John's just a very different gospel, but it did touch on it. Jesus trod before Cephas ended in the early hours of the morning when he was taken to the headquarters of the of the Roman governor. His accusers didn't go inside because it would defile them and they wouldn't be allowed to celebrate the Passover. So Pilate, the governor, went out to ask, excuse me, went out to them and asked, what is your charge against this man? We wouldn't have handed him over to you if he weren't a criminal, they retorted. Then take him away and judge him by your own law, Pilate told him, you know, the law of the Jewish people. Only the Romans are permitted to execute someone the Jewish leaders replied. This fulfilled Jesus' prediction about the way he would die. Then Pilate went back to his headquarters and called for Jesus to be brought to him. Are you the king of the Jews? He asked. Jesus replied, is this your own question or did others tell you about me? I am a Jew. Excuse me. I am a Jew? Pilate retorted. Your own people and their leading priest brought you to me for trial. Why? What have you done? Then said Pilate unto them, Take ye him, and judge him according to your law. The Jews therefore said unto him, Is it not lawful for us to put any man to death? That the saying of Jesus might be fulfilled, which he spake, signifying what death he would die. So just giving you a view of how the King James reads it. I don't have any problem with what we read in the New Living. Jesus answered him, Sayest thou this thing of myself, or did others tell it thee of me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Thine own nation and the chief priest have delivered thee unto me. What hast thou done? All right, let's move on to read the letter of the Church of Philadelphia. And to the angel of the Church in Philadelphia, write, These things say of he that is holy and that is true and that have the key of David. He that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. And I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them, who's them, uh, of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. For a little context of who that might be, that land where Jesus roamed, this is the church divided into two, known as the, the two witnesses, which are what? Kings and priests. We are all what? Kings and priests. And their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city. What great city is that? Well, it's the great city that is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Where also our Lord was crucified. So that land over there where Donald Trump is on two temple coins is known as the great city. It's the great city of Babylon that you read about. Revelation 18.10, great city of Babylon. The only other times great city is mentioned in Revelation. Revelation 18, what city is like unto this great city? And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. 
it's great city because it's ground zero. This is where the Antichrist declares himself to be God, known as the abomination that causes desolation. Where the Antichrist seemingly returns from the dead. And you have the beast, the Antichrist beast out of the sea, the false prophet, and the image that speaks all in one place, which is the coming, which will be the coming third temple. And of course, in that great city where Jesus was from, the Jewish people refer to a temple, a man-made temple, as holy, because it is to the Jewish people. Why are the Jewish people still relevant? <clears throat> Why are they still relevant? Why would something still be allowed to be called a temple? For I would not, brethren, that you should be so ignorant of this mystery, lest ye be wise in your own conceits. In other words, you Gentile, you non-Jewish bloodline lineage folk would sit around and think you're the only ones. No, there is actually a remnant of the true Jewish bloodline lineage people of the, of the bloodline that Jesus came from. That true Jewish bloodline, they will be awakened when the last non-Jewish bloodline lineage is called. That blindness in part has happened to Israel, this particular Israel, because Israel is the church and the church is Israel. But in Romans 11 specific, and I've got a very deep Bible study on that, just click the playlist and look for it. It will say Romans 11 on my playlist. If new, you've got videos in order, but click the playlist and go down. There's a Romans 7 study, which is really important to watch. It's two-part video series. Or... There's a Romans 11 study. And that's also two parts. That's it right there. Romans 11 study. It's very deep. That's where we're pulling this verse from. That blindness in part has happened to the true Jewish bloodline lineage of Jesus until the fullness of the non-Jewish bloodline lineage become in. So when that last, when the fullness, when that last non Jewish bloodline is called as a sheep when they get the call, when that last one gets the call, the true Jewish bloodline lineage will be awakened. And it's just a remnant of the true. And they're not over there believing in that political state over there, which is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. They have a pyramid with an all-seeing eye on top of the Supreme Court in that land where Jesus roamed. You have a pyramid with an all-seeing eye on the back of your dollar bill. This whole world's connected. From China, through Russia, through Iran, through Los Estados Unidos, they are all spiritually connected. They pretend to be separate states, countries. No, they're all connected. It is all of mystery, Babylon, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. Pyramid on top of Israeli Supreme Court. So just hit pyramid on top of Israeli Supreme Court and then click images and you will see it. I'm not going to go there because it reveals a little too much of things I don't really talk about. So here, we're keeping this study copacetic. Behold, I will make them the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. When does that take place? Judgment. Weeping, gnashing of teeth, 
when they encompass the camp of the saints, when they saw, shall see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets. Uh, that's detailed in my hell is not eternal torment. Um, playlist on my main channel. If you go to my main channel, which is called Telling Truth, hit playlist. No free will, John 316 falsely taught for a video series. But Hell is Not Eternal Torment revised five video series. You want to watch that. Definitely. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. What moment is that? That's the abomination that causes desolation. That is when every single goat will fall for the strong delusion. For God will send them a strong delusion that they will believe a lie. Jesus said, now that's in 2 Thessalonians 2, verses 1 through 11. Read all 11. But in Matthew 24, 24, Jesus said, a deception so great that if it were possible, the very elect would be fooled. But they are not. They are removed from that moment of temptation. But it will come upon all of the goat community. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man can take thy crown. There's no free will. Exactly. Him that overcometh, I will make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God. We just got through discussing that, didn't we? In the name of the city of my God, which is the new Jerusalem, which come up down from heaven, from my God, and I will write upon him a new name. He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Love y'all very much. Ask questions.